from Birmingham. She just had an abortion. She was a case of insanity. Her name was Pauline. She lived in a tree. She was a no one who kills her baby. She sent her letters from the country. She was an animal. She was a bloody disgrace. But is, I'm not an animal. Well, welcome back viewers, it's James Com, the guy on the bike, bringing you to another half-assed report. And uh, it's the middle of August here and we are down in uh, Chelsea. We're going to run in here at great volume. We're going to pop in here and see this show. The Double Dirty Dozen and Friends. Well, this is uh, one of these massive summer group shows. Now, uh, I also saw a, a content advisory. I guess a lot of this work has got, uh, I guess, what would be called erotic content. So uh, if that kind of stuff offends you, you better uh, change channels. Actually, I guess it says something for the, uh, the changing status of uh, porn that you've got so many young ladies that have come out for the show. This is a little painting by Jules de Bellancourt titled Early Childhood Development. spray paint on panel and strangely I don't see any erotic content there this is by Kristen she titled Hot Rod now I think there's probably 45 or 50 artists in the show and the place is packed so we're not going to see everything maybe we'll just focus on some highlights so this is Dave Humphrey and it's titled clown girl acrylic on canvas 44 by 54 inches and uh, Dave is gonna have some work out in uh, Bushwick uh, in the next month or so Tom Sanford titled Whitney 2012 Oil on Wood. Tom is really getting into his uh, lacquered surfaces on this one. And Tom is kind of working on the legacy of uh, Peter Saul. I think that piece was Sasha Gray. What are you doing? By Aaron Johnson. Titled Turd Ducking. Curlet. Stinging nettle jute rope hair and polyester net on linen. That's fairly hideous. This has got to be some of the most <laughs> grotesque stuff I've ever seen in attacks on camera. Yeah. This uh, female section is collaged on here. It's a piece by Eric Denbrigian, and we covered his exhibition here, I guess it was about six or eight months ago, titled Smile, that was based on the, uh, the Beach Boys album. And as I understand it, those paintings have all been uh, sort of held back because he's facing some kind of a threatened lawsuit. So this is by David Kramer, 70s porn. I keep waiting for my life to 
take on a storyline that resembles 70s porn, but at the rate I'm going, I have a better chance of making it to 70 before that ever happens. David's a funny guy. Joe Heaps Nelson. Titled Public Display of Affection. title of the piece. It's called Sex Z Chair. It's essentially a sex chair. And then I have the... Um, yeah. This is where the lubricant is? What kind of lubricant are you using here? It's a, uh, a glycerin type of lubricant that drips down onto the Is this the like beans. KY special something or other? Or? Generic brand. Okay. And what is your name? Shiva Lynn Burgos. Say it again. Sheila Lynn Burgos. Sheila Lynn Burgos. And then Burgos. You, can't, you can't miss the high heels. Okay. Thank you, Sheila. Congratulations. I think I should have to say that uh, sex sells, and uh, especially in Chelsea in the middle of the summer, what you got to do is... Uh, they put out the sex signs and people are going to come in and see the show. It's a piece by Andy Cross. <laughs> Untitled Pyramid Lover. There's that little piece up there as part of it as well. We've got some tiny little panels here by Jasmine Moore. J-A-C-Z dash M-I-N-H more. These are all acrylic and resin on birch panel. And they're all about five by seven inches. They're some of the strangest places I've ended up having sex. <laughs> are you the artist? I am the artist, yes. And I've been seeing it. You don't mind having millions of people looking at these and thinking, this is where Jasmine had sex. If it if it um if it inspires people to be clear in their expression, then absolutely not. Okay. I think um I think I think in general we're very inhibited. Really? I think so. I mean you can you can tell me, I don't you know people can think for themselves for sure, but um, Okay. Thank you, Jasmine. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, unsolicited commentary there. That's nice. Just a couple of pieces by Ion Birch. So this piece is titled Untitled Drawing 2. Graphite on paper, 22 by 15 inches. And uh, this is Untitled Drawing 1. Actually, Ian was one of my first uh, calm reports, probably in the first uh, 25 or 30, back when Freight Volume was uh, in a different location. Tell us your name. Uh, Larry Rivers. Right. I, play I the thought saxophone. so. Yeah. Uh, Mr. I... Baskin. Tell us about your piece. Well, these are it's like um, chess pieces, right? Yeah, you can play a game with it. It's all game. These are cosmetic bottles that I bought uh, out of Wayne Reed. This is an Adidas bottle. This, these are two underarm deodorant bottles. This is Deadhead, and this is some French uh, shampoo. But 
But then so, you, you recast them, right? This I just cast them. I didn't alter the form. So it's about the late neuroticism that's... Uh, of commercial packaging. Yeah, yeah. You, you get rid of the uh, semiotic label, the branding, and there's, you know, the, you know, the raw form is there. And maybe the consumer's aware of it, maybe they're not. you got to get your mind out of the gutter, man. Well, you know, but they're telling me what to do. I can't help it. Take a run into the back room here. Well, that's kind of a nice selection of little paintings. Okay, well this selection of works are by Noah Lyon. I don't know, they all look like they're about uh, 10 by 12 inches. so many young ladies that turned out for this considering the um, gamey subject matter. <laughs> oh, I think young gentlemen and young ladies enjoyed it equally. Well, I always I always admire your program and I especially appreciate the fact that you're uh, pretty uh, invested in painting and showing young painters. I've got kind of a uh, little difficult question for you. Um, considering the subject matter, a lot of this work, where do you draw the line between just... Uh, porn or smut and art. Well, the minute that porn is framed and it's on a gallery wall, it no longer is porn. So high, low art becomes high art in a, in a, in a, in a blink of an simple? eye. Is it that simple? Very simple, yes. If you had some kitty porn in here, I tell you what, the cops would be in here in about 20 seconds. Or is, is that in the back room? We, or? we, tr we, we, try, we try to sort of uh, keep a draw a fine line and, and uh, we try to keep our, our nose somewhat above the ground here. Okay. <laughs> it, it is show. a very fine line. It was a lot of fun. Th thanks Nick, Nick Lawrence. Pleasure. The curator. This is James Calm reporting on Double Dirty Dozen here at Great Volume on 24th Street in Chelsea. Thank you, Kate.